I'm gonna start this video off by triggering a few folks. Triggering a few, let's say the snobby end of the cigar folks. Zippo, not a butane insert, not a jet insert. Oh, the real deal, Zippo flame. No, God! No, God, please, no! I just, I know there are some cigar snobs out there right now that are screaming. Their heads are gonna explode. They're dying inside. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ooh. That's sweet, sweet Zippo. <laughs> In all seriousness, I was just doing that to bust balls because I know people get so upset about lighting cigars with a Zippo. They get so upset. Well, maybe I'll make a whole video about my opinions on that. If it makes any of you guys feel any better that your head just exploded, this is just a bundle stick. It's a quorum. They're like $25 for a bundle of 20. So if that makes you feel any better that I lit it with a Zippo, it's not an expensive cigar. <laughs> We're not here to talk about cigars today. Well, we kind of are. We're actually here talk about this big guy. You're probably wondering why I have this big black box sitting next to me. Smoking cigars indoors is kind of like having your own personal cigar lounge at your house. Problem is, if you don't want your house to smell like, I don't know, a 1980s Greyhound bus seat, you got to have some air filtration. Air filtration in a cigar lounge is usually a multi-stage approach that includes air cleaners or scrubbers, ventilation systems that remove the air from the room and then bring in fresh air from the outside. And sometimes even weekly or daily ozone treatments to keep the surface smell down and keep the room smelling fresh. But that's pretty involved, it's pretty expensive, and just not in the cards for a lot of folks that wanna be able to smoke a cigar in their house. So lots of folks, use an air filtration system by itself with really good results, puffing away on their favorite stick in the comfort of the AC, in a nice leather chair or a couch. I know here in Florida, it is like 9,000 degrees already, and my outdoor smoking has gone down a little bit. I tend to smoke upstairs in my cigar lounge a little more because it's so damn hot outside. A lot of you guys in the north in the winter when you're freezing your butt off, smoking indoors can come in real handy. Now, a lot of you guys have probably heard about the company Rabbit Air. If you've looked into any kind of air filtration for cigar rooms, they're a very popular company in the cigar community. I did a review on the previous unit, the Minus A2, back a couple years ago, uh, and I've had it in my cigar room ever since. So when Rabbit Air reached out, and asked me if I was interested in testing out their new unit. Does a one-legged duck swim in circles? Of course I do. For full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Rabbit Air and I did get this unit for free, but as always, I will be giving you my full and unadulterated opinion. Sponsorships do not pay for my opinion, they pay for time on the channel. We'll be talking about the good things about this unit, the limitations, and I wanna give you guys a really realistic idea of what you can expect out of this unit. During this whole video, I'm gonna have this thing on. I'm not gonna do any noise cancellation or any kind of uh, noise filtering on the audio. I'm gonna have this thing right next to me and um, as the video's going, I'm gonna have it running the whole time so you guys can hopefully kind of get an idea about sound levels. Right now, this guy is on, uh, I got a lot of lights over here. Almost it's hot setting. It's on one notch before like turbo mode and that's the kind of sound. I don't know if you guys are picking that up, but in any event, you hear some background noise, that's what it is. This unit comes in at 20.3 pounds. Dimensions are 19.7 inches high by 18.9 inches wide by 8.4 inches deep. It can cover up to 1,070 square foot room, which is a 35% increase over the 815 square feet of the previous unit. However, for smoking situations, smoking rooms, they do say that it's more like 535 square feet. 
Anytime you're using uh, an air filter like this for a smoking room, you really wanna turn that air over a lot to keep the air quality in good shape. Last thing you wanna do is be in a hazy ass room with stinging eyes, breathing in all that smoke. So that's what that reduced square footage is about when it's for smoking purposes. The unit comes in beautiful black, a flat black, which is this one. It's a little bit different than the previous unit. The uh, previous unit was like a uh, high gloss black. I actually kind of prefer this murdered out matte black kind of look myself. Not that the old unit wasn't good looking, but I actually do prefer the matte look. Let's see, it just went down a level because I've got it on auto. We'll talk about that more in a few minutes, but I haven't been puffing on this cigar and it's on auto. So the air quality in the room is getting better. So it's slowing that fan down. So I don't know if you can tell room noise, maybe something. Can you hear it? I mean, I'm sitting right next to it. So hopefully you guys can hear it. Point is sitting this close to it, if you can't hear it, it's a damn quiet unit. It also comes in white, if that's your thing. And then they have four, I think it's four custom panel options. They are kind of like different styles of artwork. So you can really kind of customize this thing to fit in basically any room. This guy can be a freestanding unit as you're seeing it here, or you can mount it on the wall with an included wall mount. You can mount it right side up. And this newer model, you can also mount upside down on the wall, on the floor. Basically, you can mount this thing anywhere. This new unit also comes with a detachable cord. So if you are mounting it like really high up on a, a room with high ceilings and the cord won't reach, you can put a longer cord on there. They got you covered. I personally keep mine on the floor right over here behind where I sit. It's kind of best if you keep it close to where the smoke's at, because that really helps it pull the smoke in and clean it. The matte black, I put it right back there and you don't even know it's there. It's kind of invisible back there in the corner, which is really kind of nice. Depending on whether you want it to kind of blend in with the matte black, or if you're hanging on the wall, you can pick one of those prints. It'd be like a, a functional piece of artwork. But the most important part of an air filter is well, the filters. This one, very similarly to the older model that I had, is packing a six stage filter system. The first is a pre-filter, fairly coarse filter, I guess you'd say. It is meant to catch large particles, pollen, pet hair, stuff like that. Second filter in line is more of a medium filter, catching slightly smaller stuff like dust particles, dander, mold. After that, you have your charcoal stage, which is meant to help with smells, VOCs, greenhouse gases, shit like such. Next is when you're getting down into the super fine, tiny, tiny shit. The next stage is a BioGS HEPA filter. Allergens down to 0.3 microns and 99% of particles down to 0.1 micron. I am no scientist. I have no real perspective for how small a damn micron is. Well, I'm not a scientist, but I do have Google. Hold on a sec. Stand by to stand by. A micron, one twenty-five thousandth of an inch. Now, if a micron is one twenty-five thousandth of an inch, I'm having a hard time saying it. Twenty-five thousandths. Twenty-five thousandths. <laughs> one twenty-five thousandths of an inch. And this thing filters out stuff down to 0.1 microns. In the words of the great Forrest Gump, I may not be a smart man, but that's some small shit. So whether it's for smoking or you got allergies or whatever, I'm sure this thing could probably come in handy. Now, the last stage is customizable based on what your needs are. They've got like a germ defense option, a pet allergen toxic toxin absorber, I think. So in case you're like in areas that have a lot of fumes and whatnot. In my case, I chose the odor removal, which adds a second layer of charcoal filtration, which for a cigar room is what you probably want. It's also really nice. This new front cover here is like magnetic. Everybody loves magnets just pops right off. And it's pretty cool because it actually, there must be some sensors in here or something because when you pop it off, it automatically shuts off. And then when you pop it back on there, you hear that? Automatically starts her right back up. Pretty clever shit really. As for controlling this bad boy, you have standard controls on the unit itself. Differently than the older unit, which had normal just like push buttons, this has a nice new updated like touch display, which is really pretty cool. I dig it, nice little upgrade. You can control most of the functions right here from the unit. But for the best experience, I recommend using the app. It connects to Wi-Fi and this newer option, you can also just connect via Bluetooth in case the Wi-Fi is funky or whatever. You really get granular and you really open up a whole slew of shit you can do with this thing. It's very user-friendly, uh, have all the detailed controls and stuff. You can power the unit on and off, which is 
of course, pretty standard. Next, you have a readout of your air quality in the room, which when it which comes into play when you're using that auto function we'll talk about in a second. Next, you have your fan speed slider, so you can control it all the way from lowest to turbo mode. Then you have your auto mode toggle on and off, which is honestly what I run like the majority of the time. I think the auto mode is pretty dope. It uses a sensor in the machine to pick up the quality of the air and it controls the fan speed up and down based on what you need it to do. It's pretty impressive, hold on. Let me light my cigar back up, it's gone out. But if you can hear, right now it is on like low, low. You probably can't hear that at all. I mean, it is almost inaudible for me and I'm like a foot from the, not even a foot, like several inches. Now, if I spark this up, See how long it takes. Can you hear it? I don't know if you can tell, but this thing is already cranked up to level four, which is one step below turbo mode. I mean, what was that, a few seconds? I mean, it's pretty impressive how quick that thing senses smoke in the air and then adjusts the fan accordingly. I really like that feature. That's, like I said, I keep mine on auto like the majority of the time. Next, you have your sensitivity slider, which controls how sensitive this thing is to the air quality changes. After that, we have full control over the mood lighting. This thing has a mood light, which they have moved up. That's another thing I like. The old mood light used to be in the middle. They've moved it to up here. Turn on the light. There we go, Darth Vader mode. They moved the mood lights up here. It used to be like somewhere in the middle down here. I actually like the new placement a lot better. Keeps it out of the way of this thing. And there's another opening. I think this thing sucks air a little better than the old one because it's open all the way around. And then there's also a slot through here where it can pull smoke. Where before, I'd have to get the old one out, but I feel like there was a little less space for it to pull in air. I like this new design better. Full control of this light. Right now it's on like this mode where it cycles through the colors. You can also turn it on dark mode, which it will sense how much light is in the room and turn on and off based on that. You can make this thing any color you want. You also have a negative ion switch. I am not qualified to speak on negative ions <laughs> and the effectiveness, but supposedly they attach to particles and make things heavier and easier to be filtered out. And uh, ions are like the same things you smell at the beach and after rainy days, I think. Negative ions can help your air smell fresher. Uh, and this has an option, you can turn it on and off. Then you can run a timer or set a schedule, which is, I think, really very, both very cool features. Uh, you can set this thing to run every single night for like a couple hours when you're not in here, which will help keep that smell and, and circulate and really get the air fresh overnight so that the room does not stink the next day. Lastly, you have a gauge that lets you keep an eye on the life of your filter, which is very, very handy. All in all, I don't think you could ask for much more control over a unit than what this thing has. Like I said, the app is very easy to use, it lets you dial in however you wanna use the Rabbit Air for your needs. I'm a fan. talked about the physical specs, how it looks, the filter system, the app, all that. But Jeremy, how the hell does this thing perform? That's what's really important. All the colors and fancy lights don't mean shit if it doesn't filter the air. Can I use this thing to smoke cigars in my house? Well, that's a complicated answer, unfortunately. <laughs> yes and no. Like I said, I'm gonna be realistic with you guys because I don't want anyone to leave this video with unrealistic expectations of this. Rabbit Air is super popular in the cigar community and even is used in some cigar lounges for a reason, they work great. However, with cigar smoke in a closed area, a multiple stage smoke removal system is really needed to handle heavy cigar smoke and really keep the room smoke free. Kind of mentioned that earlier, especially if you've got multiple smokers. Can you use this as a standalone? Yes. I think you definitely can, especially if it's only you having a cigar in a room set up in your house and is around the 500 square feet or less that they recommend. This thing will do a great job turning the air over. The room won't be cloudy or burn your eyes. It'll work good. Lots of folks don't have the time or money or space to install, like I have in this room, exhaust systems that pull air out, bring new air in and all that stuff. 
they need a fully contained one and done system for keeping the room comfortable while they're smoking. You have to be realistic with what a single standalone unit can handle. If you're gonna have multiple smokers puffing away in a small room, you may need more than one of these or that second stage, like I mentioned, of having an exhaust system to keep up with that level of smoke. Also, smoke tends to stick to surfaces and just cleaning the air alone won't completely get rid of all the smell in a room. That's where it comes in with the ozone I was talking about. To make it so that no one would ever know you smoked in a room, you may want to add an ozone generator and run that a couple times a week. I can go into that more on another video sometimes that's kind of outside the scope of this video. But my setup that I have here is I run the Rabbit Air in tandem with, like I said, an exhaust system that pulls the actual air out of the room and brings fresh air in. This double layer approach, so to speak, means I can have like three to four guys smoking cigars in here without it ever even getting smoky. It's not hazy, it's not smoky, the air stays perfectly clean. Then I run an ozone generator in here a couple times a week and that keeps the room completely free of smoke smell. Most people that would walk into this room would never know there's ever a cigar smoked in here. It is a my wife approved system. Now, I don't know if it would be my wife approved when she was pregnant, because when she's pregnant, she had a nose like a fucking bloodhound. <laughs> but for the most part, it does a fantastic job of making it smell like you never smoked in the room. So hopefully this gives you a good and realistic idea of what this guy can handle. I told you it's not an easy one size fits all kind of answer, unfortunately. When you're smoking indoors, you really want to keep the air as clean as possible. One to keep your significant other from being all pissed off and then not letting you smoke in the house or getting mad and you having to listen to it all the time. And two, for your own health. It isn't a good idea to be hot boxing yourself in a room full of smoke. That kind of defeats the purpose of not inhaling a cigar if you're in a room that's just packed with secondhand smoke from a health perspective. So can the Rabbit Air be a one and done solution for indoor cigar smoking? Yes, it can. Should you definitely include the Rabbit Air in your system, regardless whether you're a one and done kind of single stage or you wanna do the two or three stage approach like I mentioned, absolutely. You run this guy in tandem with ventilation and ozone and that is like the ultimate system for keeping the room just perfect. Been using the Rabbit Air since I got the last one which is like a few years back and the new model is basically just a new and improved version of that one with higher fan speeds, more power, and some cool new features. So if you're trying to build a personal cigar sanctuary in your house, or hell, if you have allergies and you just want better air quality, I'd definitely say this guy is worth a look-see. I don't know if you've been able to hear this thing, but one last time before we leave, just so you guys can get an idea of kind of the volume, and I don't know how well this is coming across. Right now, uh, because I have been smoking, it's running on about two or three. Let me crank this thing up on turbo for you guys real quick. This is the highest setting. Can you guys hear that? I mean, this thing is moving some air. Hmm. Can you see? Can you see that puff of smoke, how fast it, I mean, can you see the speed? I mean, that thing is blowing some air. Hold on. Can you see my mustache? <laughs> Even at that volume, when it's several feet away, it's really not that bad. But that is the turbo mode. As soon as you go down one notch from that to one step below. Can you hear that? Noticeably quieter. More than a few feet away from that, you're probably not gonna hear it at all. And when it's on low, I mean, when you're this close to it, you can't hear it. So in any event, but as always, if you guys are interested in this, I'll put some links down below so you know where to find one of these things. I don't know, I don't remember if they gave me a discount code or not on this one. I can't remember. If they did, check below. If there are any discount codes, I'll definitely put those below. Oh, also, what do you guys think about this? Prototype new shirt, tap that ash. Huh? So she's got a little cigar up here. Vintage kind of tattoo style kind of situation. Don't have them available yet, but they're coming. Got two new shirt designs coming pretty soon. I triggered a bunch of people lighting something with a Zippo. We talked about the Rabbit Air, talked about the new shirts. I know it's been a little while on this channel as it always is, but I do have the 
the other video coming with the second cigar review for the bundle we did with the guys at Cigar Club. So I know I was gonna put that out quicker than I did, but then there was some issues with one of the cigars in there was, we were running short. I didn't want to put it out when there was low inventory. So we're getting that all handled. That video will be out very shortly. All right, guys, well, that's it for me today. Hopefully you found this video useful, maybe even a little entertaining. If you did, feel free to smash that like button. That always helps us out. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Happy smokes and long ashes to all of you. And we will see you in the next video. Sorry, catch up on the new episode of Kenobi. So far, it's a good one. Okay, so for all you guys that hung in there, as we've been doing, we're gonna do a giveaway. Thank you for hanging in to the end. And today's a good one. Today is probably the best one we've done so far because the retail value on this one is 750 bucks. That's pretty good. I'm gonna give away one of these rabbit air units. I have two. Um, they sent me two for the video. Uh, the white one you saw in the B-roll, I'm obviously not gonna use because I'm using the black one because, well, this room is very dark and white stands out in here. Only been used for some B-roll, so figured rather than that take up space in a closet, give it to one of you fine folks that could definitely use it. So rules are as always. You gotta be a subscriber to the channel, you gotta like the video, and put a comment down below what hashtags can we do today. Let's do hashtag smoking in the boys room. That's fitting. <laughs> and hashtag rabbit air, of course. So comment those two hashtags, like the video, subscriber, and one week from the upload, I will pick a winner. Unfortunately, this one is gonna have to be US only. This thing is kind of big and heavy, and it would cost me $90 billion to ship out of the country. So I apologize to my international peoples, but uh, we do try to include you in giveaways that aren't gonna cost me like a second mortgage on my house to ship. <laughs> so don't worry, there will be stuff in the future that will be for you guys also, but this one is gonna have to be US only. All right, I'm gonna go back to finishing my Kenobi. See you guys soon. Mm -mm -mm. That lovely Zippo flavor. <laughs> Everybody who says lighting a Zippo changes the flavor of the cigar. While you're physically lighting the cigar, maybe you could taste it just a tad. But I'm gonna argue that I, my palate is not the best, but it's at least average or above average. And after a few puffs, I can't taste if it's low with a Zippo. So I think a lot of you people that get all butthurt about that are just being fake fancy pants. <laughs> That'll piss some people off.